Hey loved ones, this is Love. And this is Fashion Addict 1989. How are you all doing this wonderful evening? <laughs> so we're coming to you to talk to you about um, silicone injections. I know it's been talked about a thousand times, a thousand times, but here are some real stories. Get your tea, sit down. And get your life because <laughs> we're coming to you firsthand because I had silicone injections in my face and in my ass, and let me tell you the stories, honey. Well, I've also had silicone injections. We, we started actually, well, we didn't start out getting our injections together. We got, we started at different times, but we did go to the same person um, for um, some injections. And and that person is the Duchess, who is now incarcerated, also known as um, O'Neill Ron Morris. Yeah, so we, we went to her. Like, I had the... I had known her from Miami, and um, I don't know how we found out she was well, pumping. I actually got the connection from her. I didn't know her. I didn't know anything about her. It was her friend or her contact, and I had wanted to get silicone because my gay mother had silicone, but her silicone didn't change colors or anything. But see, she got silicone back in the day when the girls were given actual real silicone, not mineral oil, not fix a flat, not cement, real silicone. And I thought before I started to go, well, let me just back up a little bit. Before I went and got um, silicone injections, I didn't know anything about the effects of silicone. And I didn't know that people were pumping mineral oil, fix a flat. Yeah, I don't think, we, like we, I don't we think any not. of us did because no. that was all new. That yeah. was all a new thing. Before that, everybody was getting real yeah. stuff, real, yeah. real silicone. And I never got it because um, from the people that, like, I knew prior to me had it because those people weren't doing it anymore. And, um, you know, but anyway, back to what I was saying in reference to, I got the contact from her and we got the same person and we just basically went and trusted that. Um, she was getting real stuff. That we were getting real stuff. And you know what? Here's the thing is that you get what you pay for. And, you know, if you're not, going to see a plastic surgeon and you're not in an actual office setting, you should automatically know that it's not right and you're going to have complications and you're going to just have a battle, an uphill battle with this thing if you don't die. Well, I think, I think we, should, we should really state that even when we got the good silicone, it wasn't in an office. So you're, what we're saying is that yeah. you're taking a gamble. You are. You're taking a gamble you when you get silicone pumped into your body because there's no real way for you to test, test before they're injected yeah. if it's real or not. I know I went to, um, can't think of her name. She's in my, she was in Miami um, and she was pumping the girls in Miami. And I went to her when I first started getting pumped. Um, Spanish, Spanish girl. Mm -hmm. And what she told me was that you can tell because it is tasteless. Um, it's oily. And she said she could even put it over your eye. <laughs> I don't know what, what that means, but... But um, she did. She said that you could put it over your eye yeah. to see. But I don't know what still. that would have done, but that's still dangerous putting it over your eye. But hey, she said that was um, one of the ways that you can test to see if it was real, real silicone. Well, um, it's, you're, you're, test, you're just taking a gamble, basically. Yeah, even with that said, you know, as someone who has had silicone injections, my advice to you is to do not do it. Don't do it because, trust me, the people who are pumping silicone now are not the people who were pumping silicone 10 years ago or 15 years ago who were giving you the right shit. People are just pumping you right now pretty much just to make a dollar. And they're not really caring about your health, your life, and what's going to happen to you if you survive. You know, luckily, I'm a survivor and I didn't die or have any complications. Now, I've had uh, severe discoloration and I've had... Um, severe deformation and um, I went to a plastic surgeon in Miami his name is Dr. Alberto Gallarani and um, you can look him up on the internet he has before and after videos and I mean he's a phenomenal plastic surgeon he pretty much took about 80% of the silicone out you're never going to be able to get 100% of the silicone out but um, I'm sitting here talking to you real because I want you to know what the real deal is because some girls come to you and they're not going to be honest with you and tell you what actually is going on you know and what's happening to your body and things like that but you know I mean 
it's it's when you get mineral oil and all those kind of things pumped into you if you do not die or have any immediate complications where you have to go to a um doctor doctor or the hospital you're one of the lucky ones and that's what happened with me and her obviously because so we had here. yeah we the thing about it is we had two different experiences from silicone um, we went to the same person. Um, she went more times than I did. Um, and I was, that person. and then the mistake that I made when I was laying on the floor, I told her to juice me, baby, juice me, <laughs> juice me, and she juiced me. I and can't. I regret that. I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I don't want to listen to it, but I can't. I can't. She juiced me, all right. Okay, she gave me what I wanted, and I regret it to this day. But she's had. You've had a lot of traumatic experiences yes, with the silicone in your body and for years. Luckily, years. I have everybody that I've met that I've been in a personal relationship with have has basically, it hasn't been an issue with them or a problem with them. Which but is, more which so I'm because it's your body for. and you see it, it's an issue with you. Exactly. And your confidence. Mm -hmm. exactly. And you spend a lot of money to try to get to Yeah, I to spent... Of um, it. You don't have to say the number. That is so tactless. Don't spend, don't say the number. Please well, I think, but I think girls should know the the reality of how much it's going to cost to have these surgeries. I mean, you know, because it's expensive. Let me just say this: it's expensive, and every girl, I understand what she's saying, and it may be tasteful to tell you how much I paid, but um, every girl that I've recommended to Dr. Galarani, the surgery starts at at least ten thousand. You know, and it can go up from there, but it's not going to be lower than that. And I'm just being realistic with you so you can have an idea of what it's going to cost. Saying that to say, if you decide to get silicone, know the effects of silicone. Know the effects of not getting the real stuff. And that's not to say that every girl who's out there pumping is getting giving people false false or fake silicone. But you don't want to ch take that chance. And like I said, we both have had different experiences because mine, I didn't, I didn't have as much. My ass is bigger than hers, but I didn't. <laughs> Nicki Minaj over here, honey. Nicki, Nicki but Minaj. Boom, I, um, boom, boom. I went to the Duchess like a couple of times, and I went to Miss Kelly Hopper that was in um, Rest Philly. In Philly. Kelly. Rest in peace, um, Kelly. She did my um, my face also. Um, I and went to her my too. ass, and mm -hmm. she like she saw that it was fat, bad stuff, and she gave me something, but. I didn't have the same effects as my sister did. Now, just be say, careful. Just be careful. Mm -hmm. Do your research. Mm -hmm. But I don't care. I don't care in. I don't care how much research you're going to do. It's not going to tell you 100 percent that the stuff that you're getting inside your body is the real stuff. So I. Is it hard to say? Don't take that chance because you. I'm going to be real with life. you. I'm going to real. I'm going to be real with you, and I'm talking to you from experience. I repeat. Do not get silicone injections. You will live to regret it. Even if you get good stuff, there's no more good stuff out there anymore. Let's just let's just call a spade a spade. There's no there's no good shit out there anymore. And anything that's going in your body with a syringe and you're not in a plastic surgeon's office, you're putting your life at risk. Period. You know, if they don't have mm, uh, the point blank and the period. <laughs> period. You know, if they don't have if they don't have uh, a license to practice medicine. Trust me, with the if I knew now what I knew then, I would have never got the silicone injections, you know, because I've had other surgeries and I paid the money for other surgeries, you know, and w something that could have cost me a minimal Jesus amount. Um, no, wait, no, something that could have cost me a minimal amount of money if I went to a plastic surgeon and had it done has cost me a lot of money to try to repair it. And, you and think it could have cost you your life. Yeah, it could have cost me my life. Because you had really problems. You had really real problems with that. Yeah, I did. I mean, not problems to where I needed to go into the hospital. It was more cosmetic, you know. It was more cosmetic for me. But once you get a lot of the silicone removed, you feel a lot better. You know what I'm saying? And I mean... And it wasn't making you tired. I remember you were saying that yeah, it, it was making you tired. tired. And it, 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 it causes an autoimmune disorder. That's what it does. It causes an auto... Oh, excuse me. I just realized that I, I broke two nails open in my trunk today. So excuse that. It looks so tacky. But anyway, <laughs> I noticed that. So I had to say something because I, I don't can't. want y'all reading me saying, oh, look at her. I can video just so heartfelt. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> but anyway, you know, um, I just want you guys to know, and I'm telling you this from the heart, um, as a trans woman and as someone who was very impulsive in the beginning and someone who, you know, you don't know. Um, what kind of job you're going to have. You don't know how much money you're going to make when you're first transitioning. You think you want things now, 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 now. I want it now, 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 now. And that can be a mistake. And that can that can either cost you your life or it can be 
a traumatic experience to deal with for the rest of your life. And I'm here to attest to that, that it's a traumatic experience to deal with. But now I'm just getting to the point to where I can deal with it because everybody that I've ever dated and been in a relationship with has been very, it didn't bother them, mm -hmm. you know, because that's not, that doesn't define who I am as an mm -hmm. individual. Mm -hmm. But to me, being a woman, you know, it's, it's, it's a problem for me. You know, but my advice to you girls out there, all you trans girls, let me tell you something, honey. Whatever you do, don't get the silicone injections. You know, it's 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 cheap, and you may have a cute butt for a little couple of months or a year or something like that. But let me tell you, the complications will come. The discoloration, if you're high yellow like me, even if you're African American like her, the discoloration, the disfigurement, and all that stuff will come. Now, silicone reacts different to every individual. It's yeah, because I was just I was just about people. to say because we haven't had the same um, complications. Yeah. So I haven't had any discoloration from mine, mm -hmm. but again, I didn't get as much. I think you brought up a good point. Um, we all have to take our time. Be patient. Yeah, because it's patient. gonna come. It's gonna Be come. Patient. And don't when you rush start it. moving, when you rush, that's when you get fucked up. And you don't want to get fucked up. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get fucked up. Hello. So just take your time and be patient. Yeah. And make sure that the decisions that you are making, that you've researched them. Please mm -hmm. do your research. We mm -hmm. cannot um, mm -hmm. iterate that um, enough. Research, research, research. Yeah. Now, if you guys have any any questions regarding my experience with silicone injections, please feel free to um, leave comments below or leave questions in the description and, box, in the or, description the box, box in the or the box. comment box, and we can do another video answering the questions that you have. Um, there's a lot of things that I, I have not disclosed in this video, and there's a lot of things that I haven't touched on because the video will be so long. But I have had uh, different types of surgeries. I have had uh, one surgery in particular for the silicone, I needed to have a blood transfusion. So just to say, and I called my girl here about it because I called crying when that happened. She can, you can remember that when I, I called you. I so, um, it's a very serious situation and I definitely advise you to not do it. You know what I'm saying? Ever, you know, because it's not worth it in the long run. But um, it's a very dangerous situation, and I've known people who have, um, or I've heard of people who have died mm -hmm. from it and from complications from it. And the Which only is reason, why the person who pumped us is in jail. Yeah. Yeah, she's in jail. In prison. In prison. Because uh, she pumped someone or killed someone. I don't know what the deal was, but I didn't, I didn't follow it too much. But I'm she glad. She killed somebody. Oh, she did kill somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm glad because I feel like I got my justice through the person who... In, through the court system. Yeah, through the court system, not the person who excused me for that. Mind you, this is my second time on camera. So I'm doing quite well. <laughs> I'm I, think that she's taken over the, I think she's taken over the video, but that's okay. But she's giving some true teas, which we all need. At, don't do that. You see my face. I can't. I can't. Can you? Mm. Can you? Can you? I can. I can. <laughs> so anyway, she like I was saying. Teas. No, 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 no. Just go ahead. Did you? Teas. Yeah, but what do you, what no, else? No, I think that want? I think they needed to hear um your perspective because so we so many times we see the people who've gotten the good seal. Mm -hmm. We've heard about the people who've gotten the bad seal. Mm -hmm. So they're getting that that perspective of what can go wrong. And a lot of people are not going to be honest and tell you what the deal is with their body and stuff like that. Now, when I take my clothes off, you know, my body to guys, my body looks cute. You know, I don't have any indentions or anything like that. I have scarring and I have some discoloration. That's the gist of it, you know, and all of that could have been prevented had, had I not it. gotten the silicone, you know, and I lost a lot of weight. I'm a skinny girl and I mean, my butt is not that big. It's kind of like, you know, mm -hmm. oh, really, really? Yeah, really? It's, 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 it's really... It's, now you see how mine is. Now just think, as you're seeing this now, just think. It's much before I had the now. surgery, it's much, it was like this. It's much it was way back here, y'all, <laughs> and now it's here. Now it's that's much three surgeries. Now. It's yeah. Much smaller. So that just lets you know how much silicone was removed a lot. So, um, anything else you want to say about it? Did she show a body shot? Really? Well, I, I want to give you all guys. I want to give you guys a real experience. I want to give you guys a real. Ex <laughs> I just can't. I can't. I mean, I, I want to listen to you, but I you can't. just can't. I just, I just, I just can't. Listen, I'm a. When I talk to you guys, you know, when I join her in her videos or on her channel, I'm gonna be real because that's just the way I am. It's about being I'm not real. gonna. I'm not honest. gonna sugarcoat anything. You know, I don't care what people have to say about me because they don't pay my bills. But you know what? I'm coming to you guys as a real woman Blue. and telling you my real experiences. Blue. Blue. 
as Nene Lee says. They have lips, though. Like, really? It's huh? hitting me in my face sometimes. They have lips. They're, no, it's not. Look. No, because you, you move now. It's okay. Ikea. She tried it. No, it's not. She tried it. <laughs> Y'all, now, if you see my hair hit her in the face, please comment below and let me know that I'm in the wrong, please, because I don't think my hair hit her in the face. You know that you're loved. You know that you are loved. Please, before you go get your injections, um, think about it. Think about what, um, think about your life. Think about the danger that it can cause to your body and your health. Um, just think about it and do your research. And it's not worth it. Just think about, you know, you don't need to have someone injecting you unless for they the are, look. For the look, unless they are a plastic surgeon. You know what I'm saying? And like I always say when I'm joining her in the videos, no matter what you're going through in life, just remember that that too shall pass, okay? It's not the end, and you may feel like it's the end, but look, you have brighter days, and there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. So, um, you have anything else to add, darling? Not at all. Know that you're loved. And, um... Know that you're loved. Mm-hmm. And I love you, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below, and we'll be more than happy to answer them. Great comment and subscribe. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Great. You remembered this thing also. <laughs> Bye, y'all.